Okay, good after, good Sunday afternoon. Um, this is a picture um, at Longbridge Park as part of the National Landing where Arlington Pride was held yesterday. And that's right there is an airplane landing at Reagan. I wasn't able to make a short of an airport landing at Reagan because I wasn't in a very good position. Um, but um, let me just run through the rest of the pictures and then we'll talk a little bit we'll talk a little bit about them um and here's a few of them and I'll just mostly commercial um little companies of consumer goods of various kinds um there was a stand giving away free Coke with zero sugar for, I needed, it was over a mile to walk there from Pentagon City where I parked. There was some parking along Long Bridge um, Road, I think, there were, even though the parking lot next to the to the Long Bridge Park was, was closed. There was some street parking nearby, so I could have parked there. But I did sit there and enjoy a free Coke. And that's what the some of Longbridge, the more athletic part of it, looks. And you can see Crystal City. And here's more of it. And there's this tower, uh, metal tower, reflective tower at night. It's very interesting there. This is called the Skies Column. And then there's the athletic, the aqua, aqua Aqua Center at Longridge Park, the Athletic Center. Now, I wanted to make a comment about a couple of the uh, a couple of the pictures. Um, for example, this was one of the this was one of the um, posts, the one of the um, stations, and for one of the companies, for one of the booths, and Aqua DC. It says, we work closely with, well, they say queer identified organizations in the DMV. And it seems like they're making, they're more interested in queer, you know, what the radical side of people that want, you know, a very, or, you know, people to have labels and want, um, to equalize things towards a Marxist kind of world, um, away from the family, and away from patriarchy, but in in what sounds like another kind of Marxism or communism, it seems like that's what we call queer theories today, and th that is what this particular group seemed to be appealing to. And then here is a socialism. Here's a socialism. Um, station and they got upset when I took a picture of them and if because I didn't sign their petition in other words I'm reporting um, I'm kind of a reporter I'm kind of a reporter here um, journalist but I'm not willing to join in their fight which is a big deal now with citizen journalism people want to talk about it rather than actually join a fight and they didn't like being photographed unless I was willing to sign their petition and particip actually participate. That's an interesting thing to, to make a note of. And then walking back and just um, a cup of the um, Boeing is here and then another company is here. There's an interesting sculpture. Um, I wanted to, I'll show, a, well, I'll show a video and just, let me just show a video of the a quick video of the rest of the walk back. It's only about thirty seconds. This you can see the sculpture and you can see a company and you can see Boeing there. It's not and um Just wanted to point out, you know, a couple of other things. Um, this, in fact, this was a socialism paper that 
they were handing out. It's reversed in the mirror. That was a socialism paper. And as I got outside the grounds and you know, get on Long Bridge Road again, which becomes Clark Street later on in Crystal City and runs into 12th Street, and that's how you went along 12th Street. That's how you, I walked back to Pentagon City. It's over a mile walking. It got pretty, it was pretty hot. Um, and so somebody else was handing out tracts or uh, fun for evangelical Christianism, Christianity, Christianity. And um, so I can make my verbal slips too, um, as well as someone else on Thursday night. Um, the whole idea of proselytizing, the idea that you're expected to sell, to approach others, to adopt your belief, system and of course we know religions do that the mormon church used to expect people to go on missions that they paid and knock on doors and proselytize and um, so do other denominations that's not something in more recent years that's not been viewed as as acceptable socially as it used to be even when i was growing up it was kind of common for people to come to your door and want to sell things or want to May to sell you on a belief, and um, missionaries would come by and so forth. That that would happen back in the fifties, and it was more accepted. It was something that you do, and today that's a lot more controversial. But whether you participate in activism or whether you're just reporting on it, which a lot of people like me like to do today, that's become an issue. I've talked about that in some other posts. Um, I, my general impression of this whole pride, you know, pride, Arlington pride, it was small, it was smaller than the other ones in Loudoun County and the other, and um, I think Fairfax is in October, where I've been to that before, and, and um, Alexandria, um, I saw, showed that earlier in June. The, the local prides are more, seem to be a little bit more radical, I could almost say it's non-binary pride. Pride. There were lots of female people dressed in pink and blue, pastel pink and blue, trans colors, who sort of wanted to look non-binary, I think, <laughs> was the impression. Whereas in the district, the Washington, D.C. Pride on June the 9th, it was much more, especially toward the end of the day, it was much more what you were used to, lots of gay men and ordinary gay women. There's a real there. There is some difference in the biology. We, we're going to talk about that again soon. Also, going to talk about book selling and um, talk soon about the Shana, the um, Smithsonian exhibit today that I went to. So that's what I have today, um, and I do thank you for listening. <laughs>